Good afternoon, everyone. It's Mr. Johnston here. Hope everyone's had a fantastic week. Uh, it's been a great two weeks in school. Been speaking to so many different parents at the beginning and the end of the school day. Uh, visiting the classrooms to talk to the children about their learning. As you can see in the background there, they've been working very hard and I've got lots of samples of work and another pile over there waiting to go up on my Wigmore Wow work wall. Um, it's really good to talk to the children about their learning and have them visit me in my office to talk to them. Um, I'm very proud of them and their efforts and it's great to, great to see them. It's, it's the highlight of my day really. Um, year six have been learning about Jamaica. It's been great to learn from them about Jamaica. Um, both classes are working really hard. Um, they're great year six role models for the other children in our school. Year five have been doing some work on non-chronological reports and using homophones. Um, they've been captivated with their learning in science about the solar system as well, which is great. Um, some keen scientists as well in year four. They're doing electricity. Um, they've been talking about electricity a lot and they're very much looking forward to the practical activities that the science, that science unit can offer. Uh, year three, I visited year three on Tuesday afternoon. They taught me a lot about the history of Luton um, in the past and talk, told me a lot about local platters who made hats and we were, the children were required to work until 10 p.m. every day. Their knowledge was fantastic. Uh, well done to everyone in Year 3. Um, year 2, they've been working really hard. They've been enjoying Bob's Best Ever Friend as their focus for writing. Um, they've been looking at adding and subtracting different methods in maths. I had a fascinating conversation with Year 1 one afternoon about their work in science and categorising and putting animals into different groups using a range of technical vocabulary like amphibians and reptiles. One pupil in there even described snakes shedding their skin. Another child described the function of gills, which is great to hear. Uh, reception have been learning remotely this week. Um, the very lazy bumblebees proving a very popular choice among the, among the children, um, doing lots of work on their bikes and scooters at home as well. Uh, well done to the parents who have been supporting them at home with their remote learning and well done to the teachers for providing those opportunities for the children as well. In PE, there's lots of happening in the hall this afternoon. The children sound like they're having a fantastic time in there working on their tracking skills on how to control and catch a ball. They've been also practicing their orienteering, making their own maps and mastering the art of chipping in tri-golf as well. So well done to everyone this week for the, the fantastic attitude to learning in every class. Uh, the big pedal has continued this week and it's finished today. So we'll be able to have some more information next week about how well we did that in the local area and nationally. It's really important that parents keep working hard on active travel methods, starting the day off with some walking or some scooting or cycling to school to ease traffic congestion around the school. Um, we had our bling your bike or scooter to school day last Friday and we've announced some winners in assembly this morning. In reception, well done to Adele. In year one, well done to Tony. Year two, Grace. Well done to Leo in year three. Well done to Olivia in year four. Well done to Maggie May in year five. And well done to Edgar in year six. Well done to all those people. And everyone's been cycling and scooting to school and walking. It's great. It's a great way to start the day and we need to keep continuing that. Year five have been busy swimming. On a Monday afternoon, they're really enjoying their swimming lessons. Uh, such an important part of the curriculum and such an important life skill. Uh, Mr. Marshall, Mr. Betts and the Year 5 staff and the office staff have done very well with organising that for the children. I know Wigmore has had some success in the pool in recent years. And who knows, maybe, maybe one day we'll have the next Adam Peaty or Rebecca Adlington or Ellie Simmons um, coming from Wigmore 
Um, that would be amazing. But well done to all the children in Year 5 who are enjoying their swimming lessons. Year 3 and Year 5 have been involved in some food technology, making different things. We've continued our school focus um, for the month. Our value of the month has been happiness. Next month, it's going to be tolerance. Uh, well done to the children who've been living that value every single day in the classrooms and outside of school as well. Um, it's really important to be happy and positive, to make sure that that glass is always half full and not half empty. It does help with our mental health if we have a positive out attitude and outlook on life. I'm really proud of the children who have been in the gold book over the last few weeks. Well done to all those children who I mentioned in Celebration Assembly this morning and have been mentioned in this week's newsletter. Last Friday, we had a special St George's Day lunch, which was very good. I've been really impressed with people's willingness to follow the COVID uh, risk assessment and the one-way system that we have in place in school. So keep up the good work both in school and keep following those national guidelines outside of school. The rule of six or two households outside only. And then hopefully we'll come out the other side of this pandemic stronger together. Um, really impressed with attendance over the last few weeks. Um, some classes have had excellent attendance, above 97% for two weeks in a row. So well done to Pine, Conkers and Acorns um, for their excellent attendance uh, when they were in school last week. Um, other classes who deserve a, a, a special mention, Elm class, Willow class, Maple class, Beach class, Linden class, U class, and uh, Birch class, and Holly class. Two weeks in a row in school with attendance above 97%, and that is our target. They are the expectations, and we have to have high expectations of the children, and we, and we can achieve that. If there are some classes that can do it, all classes can. So that's a really good effort from everyone, parents, carers, children, keep it up um, as we go, as we progress further into the summer term. Well, I hope everyone has a fantastic weekend. It's a, it's a long bank holiday weekend. I'm pretty sure the weather forecast is okay. I know the sun's shining today. Um, it might rain at different points, but that doesn't stop us from getting out to enjoy some physical activity with our family and friends. Whatever you choose to do, have a great weekend and we'll see everyone back in school on Tuesday. Bye everyone.